Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a three ingredient chocolate cake. This is a perfect recipe for the unfortunate lockdown situation we're experiencing and where most of us tend to run out of milk, butter, eggs, or flour, and you don't need any of that to make that delicious cake. I saw a YouTube video about this cake a couple days ago, and to be honest, I was a little bit skeptical, but I was curious and I wanted to try it, and it turned out very good. But most of all, what I wanted to do is make it my own. So let's get started. So I'm using Chips Ahoy's and Oreo cookies. The Oreo cookies are so dense and the fat in them is gonna make the cake so moist. And the chocolate chips and the Chips Ahoy will give the cake an extra chocolatey taste. But honestly, you can use any cookies you have and you can mix as many cookie types as you want. So the first step is to crush the cookies and I'm gonna use my food processor. But if you happen not to have one, you can put them in a bag and roll them over with a rolling pin. Just make sure you end up with really fine crumbs. So to that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of baking powder and I'm gonna mix until everything is combined. Now I'm adding two cups of cold milk and you wanna add them gradually until you get the right texture. I didn't and my batter was a little bit too runny. Your batter might be different based on the type of cookies you're using. This is my first time using this combination so I had to add uh, some extra chips ahoys to get the texture that I wanted. And this is exactly what you're looking for. It is just a little bit more runny than your typical cake batter. And that's it, my batter is now ready. So I have here a nine inch cake pan and to prevent the cake from sticking, I sprayed my cake pan with, um, with cooking spray and lined it with parchment and my batter is going in. I baked my cake in a 350 degrees oven for 35 minutes. But because your oven might be different than mine and because the cookies you're using might also be different than mine, I would say check on your cake 20 minutes into the baking process and just insert a toothpick in the middle. If it comes out almost clean, take it out of the oven, it's ready. Then you wanna allow it to cool down in the pan for about an hour or so. I topped my cake with some whipping cream, but you can use any topping of your choice, maybe peanut butter, a jam, or some honey, or just serve it as is. It's so delicious. Here's another tip. If you happen to have cocoa powder, just add two or three tablespoons to your batter. I tried it in a cake I made earlier and it came out delicious, but just even without, the cake will come out amazing. Just look at it. It's so soft, moist, and delicious. 